Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we are going to cover how to graph square root inequalities. Now um, it is really not that hard to graph these. It is as simple as graphing square root equations just with a couple of uh, extra steps. Now I'm going to assume you guys already know how to graph regular square root equations where there is an equal sign here. If you guys are not familiar with that be sure to check out my video on it. So now jumping into this, assuming that you guys are familiar with it, I'm going to assume you guys know how to get these points and know where your graph is going to be. So what you want to do is just simply label the points where it's going to be. Do not connect the line yet though. So um, for squ uh, square root inequalities, what you want to do is first look at the sign. If the sign is less than or greater than, then you are going to have a dashed line. If your sign is less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, or equal to then you are going to have a solid line. So that is very important. So now we can look at our sign. Our sign is less than or equal to, which is this one, which means we are going to have a solid line. So now we can go ahead and connect the dots. So we will connect them and we will get something like that, okay? So after you've connected them, then you want to shade part of this graph. Now the question is, where do we shade? So if you have greater than or greater than or equal to, you will shade above. It's pretty simple. If it's greater than, you just go above and if it's less than or less than or equal to all you do is you shade below so these are two very very important rules for graphing inequalities all right well ours is less than or equal to which is over here which means we will be shading below so when we're shading we're pretty much shading our solution to this we shade everything below this line now um I know this can seem a little bit confusing because the line starts over here. Well, we know that this, this is the smallest value of x. We can't have anything less than it. So pretty much you're going to shade everything up to this point. So we shade like this. Never passing that point. It's kind of like an asymptote here if you want to think about it like that. And then we connect all the way up to the line. And of course, the shading will go off towards the right forever because we have this arrow towards the line, so it will go on forever. So this right here is your solution to the inequality. And that is how you graph square root inequalities. All right, guys, if you, uh, if you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you, guys, and have a good day.